Today is cleaning day in our little apartment in San Luis Potosi. This is like the third time in a week that I've done this. I'll tell you why coming up right after this. Okay, so welcome back. Um, this video is about what you can expect when it comes to typical house cleaning. <laughs> there he is. In Mexico, at least in the Central Highlands, which is where we've been. This is arid, desert-like air. And in that air, it carries dust. And a lot of these places we've been have also been communities that are growing. So there's construction, which is more dust. And even where we are right now, we are in a valley. There is mountains pretty much all around us and the wind is constantly blowing. And guess what it's carrying into the house? More dust. If you are a neat freak and a clean freak, you gotta know, you can expect this. I'm gonna show you something. It's kind of gross, but you need to see it. I like to run around barefoot. I've already scrubbed and I mean, I brought, I, broom swept and scrubbed these floors twice since we got here and today's going to be number three the last time i did this was what not yesterday the day before right or was it yesterday saturday, morning no, it was, was it yesterday morning I think it was saturday. it's either saturday or sunday and today is monday so it hasn't been that long we went out yesterday came back i took my shoes off i like to run around barefoot we got here what 6 p.m last night yeah. these are my feet in about 14 hours, eight of which was spent sleeping. I know this is gross. Sorry, but you got to see it. Your you got to see it. Those are my feet. They're filthy. They're gross. Right? Ew. Okay, if you're still watching this video, I'm about to mop the floor. We don't have a lot of rooms here. I'll show you the rooms. You'll see the, the floor space. There's not a lot here. Here we have a very white, and it looks like it's a very clean floor, right? This is a living area with a very, very, very small kitchen, which by the way, you can see my footprints from where my feet got wet and left that. Okay, so we have this very small kitchen living room area. We have a very small hallway with a small bathroom, again, dirty footprints in there. Another small bedroom that's really not even being used. We're keeping our stuff stored in here. And then another small bedroom. So we're not talking about a lot of space here, okay? Yesterday we were in the Shidrawi and I picked up this bottle of Pinol. This is a very popular brand here and it comes in a lot of scents. And I opened every single bottle in the store and smelled them all. And this was my favorite. It was 48 pesos. Not too bad. I don't know. What's that? Almost three bucks. Not even. 250, something like that. Interesting um, scrub bucket was left here in the apartment. And there's a couple of mops. I like this one because it's purple. And what I like about it is the simplicity in the design. You can sand your mop up in here while it's drying out so it doesn't get all stanky and stuff. But when you're using it, I mean, look at that. You get it in there, get it all soaked up with water, and then you bring it up here, and you literally just twist and squeeze the water out. I mean, simplicity in its finest. Oh, man. Oh, it smells so good. I mean, I don't mind doing housework, but I love it a whole lot more when it smells this good. Mmm, it's good stuff. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pour some of that in there. You can see this water is basically just pink water, which you kind of expect, right? It's pink water. It's not dirty water. Wait till you see the before and the after. I'm gonna get that mop down in there now. Yeah, get it all down in there. All right, 
and I just love this. This is such a simple, hey man, this works so well. What a great idea. Let's pick it up, twist it, press out the water. Let's get started. I want you to see this. So far, I've done half of the living room. Mm, I've done part of the hallway. I've done three quarters of both bedrooms and the bathrooms. And this is the color of the water. You see that? I'm not even done yet. Aye. Look how dark that water is now. I'm on the last part here in the kitchen. This is the color of the water. This is two, two days worth of dirt. Two days worth of dirt, right? I honestly don't know if it's like this in other parts of Mexico. For instance, in the Yucatan where it's very humid, but where we have been, Querétaro, San Miguel de Allende, and now San Luis Potosí, it's dusty. I think it was worse in Querétaro. Would you agree with that? Yes. Yeah. I think part of that was construction. But there was a lot of construction going on in that neighborhood, yeah. Uh, not as bad here, but I'll tell you what, when we were in San Miguel, we would occasionally borrow our hostess's housekeeper. And that housekeeper would go over and clean our hostess's home two or three times a week. Everything from the rooftop patio down. And um, I tried to do the rooftop patio here. Typically there are some drain holes where you could just dump the water and it'll run out somewhere. I think the drain hole for this patio is clogged and I think the water in it is standing and stagnant. I tried. So I, I'm not going to do that again. If it gets really bad, I'll sweep it or something, but I'm not going to try to scrub it again. But, you know, again, if you're a clean freak, this could be a deal breaker for you in this area. You just need to be made aware of it because we have been places in this area where you can taste the dirt in your mouth where it got into my hair and it felt like I had a week's worth of hairspray and product in my hair. My hair was so stiff and it was a mess. Yeah, I know, right? Not him. And our car, constantly dirty looking. It's incredible how dirty looking our car is all the time. I even have a Swifter duster that I keep in the glove box just to dust off our GPS screen so we can see it. <laughs> We're taking the car? No. Oh. I want that bag out of there because those bags are easier to carry. It's <laughs> going back in. It's going back in. It's going back in. He's going back out. <laughs> All right. Going down, all the stairs. <laughs> it's garbage day. So today, we just leave our garbage on the sidewalk and they'll come get it. Our car is actually parked. We have a gate back there. So our parking is on the ground floor. And the first floor is literally the second floor, but it's the first floor. 
One of the things you have to remember when you are shopping in Mexico is they really don't supply bags for you. And they really don't bag for you. If someone is bagging your groceries, you're kind of expected to give them a tip for doing so because that's on you to bag your own groceries. So when someone does that for you, you tip them. But you also have to bring your own bags. Let me pull this shut. Yeah. All right. This is double gated. We have an inside door here and an outside door here and our garbage. I'll try to show you the garbage. The garbage is right there. I wanted to show you earlier, I have mentioned before about how the um, dust and dirt is a thing here. There was a woman across the street this morning that was um, washing the sidewalk and uh, the tree was in the way, so I really couldn't record it. Uh, but you know, she wants a clean sidewalk, right? But we are walking literally to a bodega at the end of this street, about two blocks. Everything we need is within like two blocks of all directions in this neighborhood. Except for the Lavanda Rio, which is four <laughs> blocks. Yeah, still haven't found the car wash. Oh, yeah, we still need a car wash from Sen from uh, Mineral Deposos <laughs> when we were eating dust. Literally. just passed a daycare or a school. I don't know which. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. Hi, puppy. No? Okay. Spices, nuts, salsa. We do need an oil. Any oil will do. Green beans. <laughs> no. I'm actually looking for um, kind of a garrafon, a small garrafon, because it would be just way too hard to carry that back to the apartment. Couple of bananas. Yeah. Little perro. Come here, little perro. Never mind then. I was going to make you a star. So, as you can see, this really is a very quiet neighborhood. It does have cobblestone, but it's not that bumpy, rocky, irregular cobblestone. It's kind of like squares. <laughs> it's 
It's really convenient to shop here for the quick essentials. We don't have to get in a car and drive to a supermarket of some kind. Any other thing, we don't have to look that hard. There's lots of shopping options nearby. There's lunch options, breakfast options. We're walking distance, reasonable walking distance to Centro. We're two blocks from a major Hardeen where there's activity just about every day. <laughs> and churros. Uh, the only downside is we don't have a key that seems to work on the lock for this building. So we have to go in through the garage. <laughs> See, we would be going in right here, but can't seem to figure out which key does that. So we have to go literally around the corner and down to the garage. Here we are, which is right here. slamming upstairs. That's not the patio door, is it? I don't think so. Probably the uh, service door. All right. At home, sweet home. Hi, Margie. Feed the plant. This plant needs some water. And let's set that back under there. And that's it. All right, here we are. Home sweet home. This is our neighborhood. It really is. I mean, I really like it here. The apartment was a little bit bigger, that would be great. And the lady who apparently, the lady who apparently has a stand right down there on the corner, literally was washing the sidewalk this morning. That's a regular thing here. A lot of people like to wash the sidewalks. That's a normal Mexico thing. They want everything to look clean and tidy. It gets rid of the dust that gathers every day, <laughs> which it does gather every day. So that that's a thing. You will see that regularly. Businesses and homeowners scrubbing the sidewalk in front of their property. <laughs> 